Hi, it's Katrina. From Roman coins in a Japanese castle to aliens and devils, here are 10 of the strangest coin discoveries ever. Number 10. Roman Coins in Japan When Japanese archaeologists unearthed 10 bronze and copper coins from the Roman Empire from the ruins of an old castle, they were understandably stunned. This was the first time coins from the Roman Empire were discovered in Japan. So how did they get there? Archaeologists had been excavating Katsurin Castle, a World Heritage Site, since 2013. At first, the archaeologists thought that they were American coins dropped by U.S. soldiers. Okinawa is home to several U.S. military bases and thousands of troops, so it would be easier to believe than that they were Roman. They also might have been a hoax, but after washing them and doing an x-ray analysis, it turns out that they were embossed with Roman letters, an image that they believe could be Emperor Constantine I and a soldier holding a spear. A number of other coins were also found that dated to the 17th century Ottoman Empire, but archaeologists are still puzzled about how the coins ended up there. The castle where the coins were found was built in the late 13th or early 14th century and abandoned 200 years later. The researchers don't believe that there is a direct link between the Roman Empire and the Katsurin castle. Once the residence of a feudal lord whose wealth was linked to regional trade, it did not extend to Europe, and the castle seems like the most unlikely place to find coins linked to the Roman Empire. Because East Asian merchants during that time usually used Chinese currency that looked very different from these, it's unlikely that the coins were used as currency. Perhaps they somehow got the coins in Southeast Asia or China, but in any case, the mystery continues. Number 9. Florida Treasures Every beachcomber dreams about finding something valuable buried in the sand. But when an amateur treasure hunter in Florida took out his metal detector and decided to walk up and down miles of beach, he ended up making that dream a reality. By the end of the day, he'd found 18 possible treasures and brought them home to clean off. When he finally got around to it, he found three coins that had unique markings, ones that looked like they could be of Roman origin. Certain the coins were fakes, the beachcomber put them in a drawer in his home and left them there for a few months. After taking them to a local coin collector and dealer, he found that the coins were 90% authentic Roman coins. After further searches, more coins were found, bringing the total to seven, a remarkable discovery considering their authenticity would be evidence that Romans could have possibly been in the United States centuries before Christopher Columbus. But this isn't the first time coins have been found in Florida, not by a long shot. A group of treasure hunters who were diving in shallow water off Vero Beach uncovered 350 coins worth a whopping $4.5 million. The Spanish gold coins were found 300 years to the day after a fleet of ships sank while en route from Havana to Spain. Among the finds were nine rare pieces known as Royal Eight Escudos, gold coins that had the royal coat of arms for Spain emblazoned on them. Prior to the discovery, only 20 of the coins were known to exist, and the diver who spotted the hall said the coins looked like they fell into the water yesterday. So what happened? In 1715, 11 Spanish galleons were caught in a hurricane and tossed onto the reefs of Florida's east coast. The ship sunk in the early hours of the next morning, and the coins, which were hidden on board, were later discovered some 300 years later. Not all the riches went to the team that discovered them, though. But by working under contract with the company who owns rights to the wreckage, 1715 Fleet Queen's Jewels, the divers who found them later received a percentage of the find. Not such a bad payday for a diving hobbyist. Fun fact, the state of Florida receives 20% of hauls. Number 8. Devil Coins When workers set out to renovate Bath Abbey in the United Kingdom, they made a startling discovery after removing seating from the ancient church. Two mysterious coins that depicted a devil were found beneath the row of seats. As researchers worked to uncover the mystery, they studied the coins which had the words the city of devils written on one side and an image of a devil holding a pitchfork on the other. A date on the opposite side of the coin referred to an event that occurred in 1973 when 113 ritual sites were discovered by residents of a Danish island. Strange masks and weird forked stone formations were found along with bones wrapped in string, black candles, and a fake shrunken head on a stake. Later, similar coins were discovered at churches and museums in Denmark, sometimes accompanied with letters that claimed to be from a satanic high priestess. So far, nearly 400 coins have been found, 
but unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, they are now believed to be part of an elaborate hoax. An office clerk at the National Gallery of Denmark seems to be the one behind the prank as a way to mislead the public. He is said to have had a very strange sense of humor. But still, you can't help but wonder how the coins ended up in the British Abbey. Unfortunately, the office clerk died in 2004, so his motivation behind the hoax will remain a mystery. Number 7. Alien Coins Here's a surprising one for you. A number of ancient Egyptian coins found with what appears to be an alien head with huge eyes and a bald head has been found. Another shows a spaceship or a flying saucer and one of the coins has some text that looks like Latin. Of course, these coins pose more questions than answers. They were supposedly found during a home renovation in Egypt. One of the coins has opportunus adest carved on the back. Latin for, it's here in due time. Some speculated the coins were something known as hobo nickels, which referred to a practice from the mid-1700s where people would carve different shapes into metal coins, which used to be softer. People would carve all kinds of things. So could someone have taken it upon themselves to alter the original coin by making it look like an alien? Was it simply a hoax? UFologists are arguing that these coins are evidence of extraterrestrials participating in human society at one point in time. Some argue that the UFO on the coin represents the biblical Ezekiel's wheel, which they claim is the Bible's tale of a UFO encounter. They assume that since UFO sightings were so common, they were inscribed on coins. As skeptics and ufologists continue to debate the original authenticity of the coins, you can't help but wonder about the strange images and writing on this mysterious and entertaining discovery. Number 6. Celtic Coin Hoard Sometimes it pays to be a metal detecting enthusiast. Just ask the two British residents who in 2012 discovered a coin hoard in the British Channel Islands. Believed to have been buried by a tribe of Celts who were fleeing invading forces of the Roman Empire, the coins were discovered by two friends who spent three decades searching in the fields near their home after hearing stories of ancient coins being found nearby. In 2012, they followed an old map to an area where a pot had been discovered and after a day of searching had found 20 coins in total. As they continued to search, they dug deep, and after forcing a spade into the ground, they struck something solid. It would turn out to be a massive mound of dirt and coins tightly packed together, which, when painstakingly removed, weighed over a ton. Held together by the corrosion between the coins, it took a long time to separate them, and within the first year of the project had removed up to 800 coins per week. It would take another two years to detach the final pieces, and they ended up with an astounding 69,000 coins uncovered, as well as gold jewelry, glass beads, and a woven bag of silver and gold that are believed to date back to 30 to 50 BC. Known as the Catillon II Hoard, the Iron Age coin hoard is six times bigger than any other Celtic hoard found in the world. When first discovered, its value was estimated at about 10 million British pounds. Believed to have been buried as a way to hide the hall from the Romans, the astounding find is one that not only should go into the record books, but one that continues to keep the hope alive that there are still hidden treasures out there to be found. Number 5. Ancient Jewish Coin Hidden treasures are not always found by adults with a metal detector. Such is the case of a nine-year-old girl who discovered an ancient coin while on a trip to an archaeological site near her town, Neve Tzuf Halamish in the West Bank. Discovered near the site called Chunalta, the ancient coin is a rare half-shekel with the inscription Holy Jerusalem on it. According to the biblical commandment in the book of Exodus, every male 20 years of age and over was required to pay a half-shekel coin in taxes to the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. A professor at the local university, who was also a historian of the ancient land of Israel, examined the coin and believes it could have been minted during the Great Jewish Revolt between the years 66 and 70 CE. The discovery might not be particularly groundbreaking in other parts of Israel, but the discovery at Neve Tzuf is an interesting one because Jews participated during the revolt and passed through this area on their way to Jerusalem. Interestingly enough, this is not the first time an ancient half-shekel coin was discovered in modern-day Israel. In 2008, a 14-year-old volunteer visiting the Temple Mount Rubble archaeological site discovered a similar coin buried there. Finds such as these are not only fascinating, but also show that curiosity and interest in history can pay off, not just in riches, but in uncovering hidden treasures from the past. Number 4. Viking Coins in Ireland After 10 years of metal detecting, a care worker in Ireland discovered two rare Viking coins. 
Believed to have been taken during a Viking raid on a monastery at Megara, the coins were circulated in the Isle of Man during the 11th century. Found under 4 inches of mud about 5 feet apart, they are 93% silver and may have been dropped during the raid. It's hard to carry away a bunch of coins in battle. Around 800 AD, Vikings began attacking Ireland, where they remained until about 1169 when the Normans invaded. Believed to have possibly been dropped by someone when they were passing between two places instead of deliberately hidden, some believe the coins reflect a more peaceful trading link between the Isle of Man and Southeast Ulster. Known as Hiberno-Manx coins, named as such because the Latin word for Ireland was Hibernia, they were mainly circulated in the Isle of Man during the 11th century, which I already said earlier. The find is not only rare, but also quite exciting because prior to the Vikings in Ireland, there was no coinage used as currency, and silver was actually the main form. Coupled with the fact that different areas each had their own style of coins, finding ones from a different area offer a glimpse into historic interactions between different nations. Number 3. Tin Can Treasure Imagine finding $10 million in gold coins in your yard! Then, once the excitement of the discovery wears off, imagine being told that they were part of a historic heist. Do you get to keep it or not? A California couple who spotted five old cans on a path they had hiked several times unwittingly uncovered a rare find that is estimated to be worth $10 million. The only problem? The coins may have been stolen from the U.S. Mint in 1900, which means the coins would be the property of the United States government. Mostly uncirculated and in mint condition, the coins add up to a face value of $27,000. One of the coins, an 1866 Liberty $20 gold piece, was so rare that it could possibly fetch over $1 million at auction alone. A gold heist in 1900 from the San Francisco Mint is believed to be the source of the stolen funds. The 1,427 coins dated from 1847 to 1894 and were found on the couple's property in a hilly area of gold country, an area that is well known for being a part of the 1849 gold rush. Because paper money was illegal in California until the 1870s, the coins were an extremely rare discovery and were believed to have been buried as soon as they were put into circulation. The $5, $10, and $20 denominations were minted in San Francisco, although one $5 gold piece is believed to have originated as far away as Georgia. Good news, it looks like the couple was allowed to keep it and has shared some with the American Numismatic Association for its National Money Show. They decided to remain anonymous after their historic find and hope to sell 90% of the collection online, as well as keep a few as keepsakes and use the money to pay off bills and donate to local charities. Number 2. Namibian Treasure Chest After draining a man-made lagoon on Namibia's coast, a group of diamond miners uncovered a ship that went down 500 years ago. To make the discovery even more exciting, they also found $13 million worth of gold coins on board. In what some archaeologists claim to be one of the most significant shipwrecks ever found, the ship discovered on the floor had other treasures to uncover. Along with the treasure chest loaded with the gold cash, bits of metal, wood, and copper pipes were found. A wooden stock of a musket was also discovered, which indicated that the ship was from the early 16th century. It took six days for the treasure chest to be unearthed. The ship, later identified as the Bom Jesus, was a Portuguese vessel that went missing 500 years ago while en route to India. Loaded with gold, tin, ivory tusks, and 44,000 pounds of copper ingots, the ship is still a mystery with researchers trying to piece together how it ended up on a stretch of the coast famous for violent storms and fog. Maybe it was the combination of heavy cargo and poor weather that made the captain decide to run the vessel ashore. Either way, because the ship was found near Namibia, the Namibian government will get every single coin and treasure found aboard this sunken shipwreck loaded with gold. Number 1. Theater Basement Treasure Trove A former theater in northern Italy ended up being the location of a valuable trove of old Roman coins. Dating back to the late Roman imperial era, a soapstone jar was unearthed in the basement of Cressoni Theater in Como, north of Milan revealing 300 coins stacked in rolls similar to those seen in banks today. Discovered in 2018, engravings on the coins were of various Roman emperors and dated no older than 474 AD. A gold bar was also found hidden inside another jar found at the same site. 
The theater, which opened in 1807, closed in the late 1990s and is not far from another area where other Roman artifacts were found. Discovered by construction workers who were working on a new building at the site of the old theater, the coins are believed to date back to 474 BC. The large number of coins and their exceptional condition led researchers to believe they may have belonged to someone's private collection and could be worth millions. Minted as the Roman Empire was in decline, the coins were found near the Roman-era town Novum Comum, which was established around the 1st century BC. As archaeologists continue to clean and study the coins, we can learn more about both the historical and cultural significance of the find. Thanks for watching! See, coins can be found almost anywhere, so keep an eye out! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later!